Good afternoon. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, I want to start off with some thanks. I think it's important to, to get our thanks out there. And, and one thing goes out to, to you, the media. Uh, you covered our event. Uh, I was able to see some video when I got home last night. Uh, during, during most of the event, I was out in the field, and so I didn't get to see all of downtown and what was going on everywhere. When, when I was in the emergency command post, I could. Uh, but being out in the field, you, you miss a lot of things. And the media, y'all had each of you had very good coverage, and uh, so I appreciate that. Uh, and you had good reporters out in the field uh, interviewing people and, and getting comments and, uh, and also helping them be heard. Um, these events, protests, are so that people can be heard. Uh, we as law enforcement officers understand that the, the First Amendment right, uh, I mean, think about that, the First Amendment of the Constitution, the most important, is your freedom of speech. And so our job in something like this is to provide safety and security for the people who want to protest and let their voice be heard, while also providing safety and security for any other citizens visiting, in this instance, downtown, uh, and to protect property. Uh, so all of these events ended up being... Uh, very good. This, this was uh, a victory for the city of Greenville. Um, we had no injuries. We had no property damage. And, uh, and everybody that came out, uh, for the most part, was uh, they wanted to be heard. They were heard. And we, we protected their right, their freedom of speech. And uh, I think they were very satisfied w with the events. Um, to echo the mayor, uh, I want to give some uh, thanks to, to the organizers. Uh, Miss Bowens, her, her daytime event went very well. Uh, there's a couple different events. So that was a stationary event. It was right in front of the Peace Center, and uh, they stayed right there uh, in, the, in the grand courtyard in front of Peace Center, and it was a good event. And uh, they even came out to the corner there at Main and Broad and, and held their signs. Uh, and very calm event, no, no issues there whatsoever. Uh, that event went from 11 to 3 and, and was a, a, a very good event. Uh, we had very good communication with Ms. Bowens, and, uh, and we appreciate that. That's what makes these events work. Uh, the afternoon event, uh, Mr. Quarles and uh, Mr. Wilson, I appreciate them. They helped us keep their, their crowds calm, and uh, we, we worked work through a few issues, and, and they worked with us, but they really did, did a good job in helping keeping everybody calm, and uh, everybody there went home safe and also ends up being, being a good event. Sunday uh, afternoon started out great. Uh, that event went just as planned. They also filed their intent to, to pick it, uh, and we had good communication with them. So uh, Mr. Curranton, and he also had someone there helping him uh, that I'm sure everybody's familiar with, Paul Guy. He was very, very good to work with, communicated very well, helped keep everybody calm and, and moving and, and doing what they wanted to do, uh, moved from Falls Park up to One City Plaza, and then uh, they met there, had some speakers, and then moved back down to Falls Park. Uh, where, the, where they ended, basically, uh, most of them there, that, that ended that event. And, um, but as the day went, the, the crowd changed. And, and then the crowd that came in, that was, a, that was a different crowd. And over the night, over the way the time went, uh, the crowd, we watched the crowd change. But to help facilitate, I think it's important for our citizens to know, because we talk about what we want to do. We want to help them. Uh, we're here to protect their, their rights and, and let them be heard. And to do that, the best way to do that is, in the city, you, you file an in, intent to pick it. And all that does is give us basic information. It lets us know who you are, uh, what you want to do, your, your event, where you want to hold it, the date, the time. Give us a phone number and email. Uh, what we'll do then is contact you, go over your event, make you know see what your numbers are. It helps us plan and know what, what amount of law enforcement we need or, or other logistical things that you may need. So uh, we... We really need that, that file so that we can get that basic information, contact you, work with you, and uh, have a good event. And uh, in, in most of these instances, that was done. It really helps us out. And uh, we're able to follow up with the people wanting to have the protest or event. And, and that's, what, that's what makes an event go good is communication with us. And that's, that's what we want. We want everybody to have uh, a good event. We are, we are going to go out of our way to support your event and uh, help you do what you want to do. Um, I also want to thank uh, Sheriff Hobart Lewis, uh, which he'll speak in a minute. I'll introduce him. But he uh, and his, the Greenville County Sheriff's Office was awesome. They are a great partner to us. Uh, we could not have, have held these events uh, with the amount of manpower needed and, and 
had the success that we had here in the city without him and his team. Uh, so we really appreciate them uh, and, and look forward to a long-standing relationship with them. Uh, the sheriff and I were together most of the time. Uh, we were either out in the field uh, checking on things, calming things down, working with, with the organizers, trying to make sure everything was going right, or, or in the command post, um, keeping an eye on everything. But I really do appreciate him and his team. Uh, could, could not have done it without them. They were, they were truly awesome. Um, So the problems happen, because uh, this is going to come up and you're going to have questions. The problems happen, like I said, when we don't have communications. So at the end of the night, on uh, last night, uh, the leaders of the group, um, we, we noticed that they were becoming more unruly uh, and they were, uh, became an unlawful assembly. They blocked several streets, uh, which is unlawful. and. Um, but, but we held. We were, we were hoping they would eventually break up. This was way past the permitted time. The permitted time started out to be 6 o'clock. We let them move it to 8, and then now we're into the 10 o'clock hour, and they would not. Uh, the sheriff and I both met with the leaders trying to get them to help us. They tried to get the group to, to, to leave and disperse. Uh, they couldn't do it, so the leaders themselves then left. Uh, they said, we can't control it. We've lost them. And in fact, most of these people are not our group. We, we don't know who they are. And they left. So there was no control and no one to work with their group as a liaison between law enforcement and the group, which is key. That's, that's part of the communication is having that liaison uh, with the group. So um, and the way last night ended, that, that's not the way we want it to end. We want it to end like the other two previous events in where everybody leaves peacefully and, and goes on home. Uh, uh, last night did, did not end that way. Uh, we had to uh, deploy some uh, a field force unit and uh, deploy some tactics to disperse the crowd. Uh, the tactics were not, not uh, individual in nature. There was no uh, impact to individuals. These weren't uses of force on individuals. These were tactics used to disperse um, unruly crowds uh, during an unlawful assembly after giving them every opportunity to leave on their own. Uh, we will, just like the, the mayor said, we, we learned from this. We did learn from Saturday's events. Sheriff and I made adjustments going into the next day, and we'll look at these events that happened uh, yesterday and learn from them. We do a complete after-action report, look at everything we did, and, and fine-tune that. And, uh, and we'll be doing that going forward to make sure the next events that we hold uh, are, are, are even better. Our, our, our intent is to always improve uh, moving forward. 